Civil War Collectible Channel. My name is Steve Munson and I am the Civil War Guru. And today we have in here for evaluation is a J.D. Green musket. This is an unusual musket. This is the first bolt action rifle that was ever purchased by the U.S. government and was purchased for Civil War usage. They made 4,000 of these units and the U.S. government took between 900 and 1,000 of them. This was an unusual design. It was revolutionary for its time. The rifling is also unusual. It is a Lancaster oval bore rifling style, which is really unique. And the caliber is approximately 52 caliber. Alright, today I have in here as my assistant, is my number one grandson, Brennan Cole Munson. And he is the assistant guru of the day. And he's going to show us how the boat actuates. So, Brennan, walk up there and go through the motions on how it opens up. He's putting his thumb on a butt, which unlocks it. And then he rotates the boat up, pulls it back, and that opens up the receiver. Now, what's un unique about a green rifle is you have to put two projectiles in the first one and the second one because if you look at it when he's going to roll it over down on the side of the gun and you see once you put the second one in there that's right where the rear end of the projectile is exposed and that's right where the percussion cap will ignite so you have to put two projectiles in this in order for it to fire okay Brendan set her down there now close the boat and kind of roll it over a little bit pull the hammer down there you go. And that's how you cock it, just like that. And you put a percussion cap on it, and then you pull the trigger and it'll fire. All right, thank you, Brendan. Now, if you'll step out different direction. Did you wave at the crowd before you left? Wave at your fans. There you go. These right. guns were so unique, and they were so far ahead of their times. And, of course, the old establishment in government, they hated change. And this was revolutionary. And not many of these things hit the battlefield, but there has been a few of these projectiles that have been dug up on different types of battlefields. And most of these guns are in incredibly good condition as this one. Now this one's missing the ramrod and the ramrod was a tapered ramrod, not a tulip ramrod. And then it had a cleaning brush and a buttstock. And when a cameraman gets over here we'll open the buttstock button on the back and pull out the cleaning rod. So they're very complete. But it's a unique design and it's rare. It's, it's less than a thousand of these were actually accepted by the U.S. government. So I'm going to put a price on this thing today between $25,000 and $100,000 and $3,000. So from the old Civil War guru, have a great day.